people who was in that uh, doubles team that gave uh, bobbles at that time. It's going to be a Roy player, yep. Okay. It was a Roy player and a Pit player. So, Atsy, Atsy the, the loyal Marth player. Abilene's uh, tipper. The shield break master. <laughs> Where are we going? PS2 to start? I imagine that's everyone's smashful at this game, bro. So, honestly, this could go either way. I mean, like, it's hard. It's kind of hard for Marth, I think, to space out Roy in this game. And Roy has such a good approach. And once Roy's in, it's I think it's hard for Marth to breathe outside of like trying to up you out of it as a skate. Yeah, once it gets to a disadvantage, he's gonna have a lot of trouble. But if Atsy can control the pace of the match, it'll be really good. We'll see. I just filling each other out neutral, both using dancing play. That's a good spacing. Oh, I guess him sticking his hand out for the neutral being poked out. Turning it around, okay, I forgot that was a mechanic. <laughs> yeah, I did that's too. Scary. That scared me. I think I would have got hit by that. <laughs> I think I would have rolled. Don't roll on. <laughs> that's dirty. Okay. Alright, so even so far. Yeah, even. Uh, as he's trying to push that juggle situation, but it's not working out. Where he gets his feet footing back. Now, Royal Ledge is super scary. Dancing Blade kills him, like 50. Oh, this, will, this will kill it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Honestly, this Roy's movement's pretty good. He's, you know, he's, he's fast falling, all, like, getting on the ground really fast, resetting yeah, he himself. He has his mechanics down for sure. Oh, that's he jumping over. Huh? See, I feel like it's gonna be harder for Marth to land than it is Roy to land because, yeah. because of the speed factor. Oh, oh wow, good nice drop off counter. counter. That was a good drop off counter. Good awareness, honestly. Oh, good scoop with the back air. Tipper. Or, Pilter. I wonder if that was a uh, buffered air dodge. I don't know what he was going for there. Yeah, either. Oh, th that's a classic. The shield break coming up. <laughs> I feel like Roy does have guaranteed combos on the down throw, so I think he may mess that up a little bit. Oh, there he goes, right back on stage. He's honestly, he, the Roy is holding in a lot. He knows that he can just press advantage. But you do not see him shying away from approaching. He is in his face whenever he can be. Great little frame trap there with the back air. He's air dodging. I feel like with the air dodge mechanic, like the Marth Cena actually has a lot more frame traps because of it. Because if you if you whip one aerial air dodge, they can land and up tilt you back, and you're resetting in the air. Yeah, it makes juggling such a good tool. Oh yeah. Better than having the same invulnerable air dodge you can spam off. This <laughs> this really is trying to be tricky. Uh, yeah. Oh, tip or up tilt. That was nice. Good catch. Good catch on the roll in. That's been playing Marth forever. I feel like he, you know, he he has intentional tippers. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was a raw back air jab, turn around back air. Is that true? Yes. Uh, Kron can also do it. Oh, wow. oh, that's right. I have seen it. Yeah. yeah, I've seen it. It's actually like his earliest jab kill setup. It's actually sick. So it's going to be on uh, Strixis? Strixis? Strixis. Strixis. In order to close the stock out. That's he doing really good. Yeah. He's credited. Yeah, he, is, he knows. Oh, wow. Yeah, good catch. Uh, I think he's a little risky. Yeah, he went. He's, I mean, a shield break here would have closed it out. But, I mean, at that point, personally, I think you just get more damage and try to make him like, more aggressive, you know? Exactly. Honestly, that's doing a pretty good job of walling him out. Oh, oh, down tilt? That's down. Oh, wow. I did not think you'd make it back. That was good. Have, uh, good patience on the upbeat. Oh, yeah. I feel like personally I would have spammed it. <laughs> it's like how I clipped out. Oh, he's doing really good at mixing up his recovery. Oh, yeah. I mean, you have to be. You play Roy. Yeah. Exploitable. Oh, good running F tilt. Oh, uh, doesn't even matter. Yeah, that's a good game one. Yeah, good job by Atsy. It's going to be one in Atsy's favor. Oh. Oh, hold up. Where's the text? I don't know. The score? Is it this box? I clicked something and it went away. Well, that's is up one. TLs are playing the matches. We'll just know Atsy's up one, <laughs> as indicated by the non-existing number next to his name. Castle Siege. So this is going to be the Roy's counter pick. Yeah. I really want to know why. Uh, well, honestly, he just gets to stay in his face a lot more. That's true. That's true. I feel like it's more uh, getting him off stage and uh, trying to keep that uh, advantage. But Atsy just going nuts. Oh my god, Atsy's zero to death. 
Yeah, I, I can see like it's gonna be it's gonna be more of a problem for Martha to, to space on a weird stage like this than it is Roy to just get in your face. It's Roy has a lot of ground to make up. I'm sure he's a little frustrated. Okay, let's see what he can do off this. Okay. Okay, let's see if he can close this out. See, I see a lot of players do this. They, they'll dance away and they'll lose space because they think they're, they're, they're setting up for movement. They gave up so much stage and let the mark get back to three. So, a good way to close the stock out is uh, like he didn't have his jump off stage, I suppose. Oh, good up, be out. I play a deck. Got punish. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of back and forth. Good shit, dude. We need to kill ourselves. Cool. That last one. That last one. Alright, because we killed ourselves. Oh my goodness, that's a big hit. I honestly don't think my ass is going to be a story. Yeah. Next time I'm going <laughs> okay, so Atsy really running away with this. Let's see if uh, Strixus can do this. Okay. Okay, what, what happened there? Uh, he got forward air. <laughs> he went off and forward air to him. And uh, got an even game here. And I think that's the beauty of this counter pick. It's just so volatile. One oh, yeah. good hit at 50 and somebody's flying off. <laughs> yeah, are the blast zones on the side very small, from what I understand? Yes. Right. Blast zones are small, stage are small. Everything's just fun. We're going to be my new nest counter pick. Right? I'm taking some people here today. It's definitely a stage we're all going to have to get used to. Oh, yeah. Especially projectile users with the slant. Yes. They're going to have to be aware that like they have a lot more control on the right side, but they lose a lot of it on the left side, depending on what kind of projectiles they have in their kit. Okay. I mean, this is a Roy F smash away. This is where it's scary. Marth is going to have to hit either a tipper, a tipper aerial, or a... He get him to throw the another one, but he gets away with it. Okay. Oh, we try to do the run-up turnaround, but that's a little, a little tricky input. Oh, right. oh, oh Harry, I've told that's the game. Let's see if I can fix the right score at least. <laughs> what? The banner? Oh, I hit the banner. That's a 40 inch. Yeah. Yeah, there was, I told you, the, I think the singles turnout is about 50 people. That would be, yeah, be pretty sick. The Atsy opts to go to tried and true battlefield. Yeah, I feel like Atsy's kind of picture a lot over the years. I think he's really comfortable with the stage. Yeah, I mean, it's just really good with the, with the platforms for modern mechanics and hitting tippers off of, off of landings and whatnot. And starting off strong again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I feel like this game can go either way. I think both players prove that they, they know what they're doing. Oh, yes. Yeah, so. I don't like that he's dancing away a lot. I, mean, I feel like he's just like, put some pressure, short hop a little bit, and made up the new option. Do you think uh, going off and countering with Roy is not a good option? I think it's risky. He's such a fastballer that you miss time that, especially in a game situation like this. I don't know how comfortable the player is doing that either. Yeah, I mean, he hasn't done it, so obviously I don't think he's going to be and I personally think Roy has so much good on stage off, like he can sit there and just jab you if you do it all up, uh, maintain stage control. He's not that Fox Engine where like, he doesn't have that off stage game, but his on stage game is really cool. Yeah, he'll just keep you off. Oh, yeah. oh that was a nice one. Uh, nice and early recovery, he didn't drop with it. I mean, Gats is very aware that the off stage game is kind of what's holding them together right now. But yeah, let's see what the answer is. Nice. I feel like the Roy player maybe could try and air dodge the ledge. You know, he's, he's only countered off stage, really. And the answer right back. That neutral being. It's lagless still. So run up and do it, though. Let's see if anyone gets something started here. Oh, no punish. He just turned around and he was you know, trying to do a turn around grab, but he's too slow on the trigger. Oh. oh, and Roy is just so quick. Catching, like, you can just catch a strike slider dodge if you're, if you're in the right position. Just turn around, grab him, hit him again. <laughs> oh, nice dancing blend. Catch the roll. <laughs> 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 
Oh, he expected the roll. Not a bad attempt for sure. That would have been a definitely would have been a stock. Oh, I think Asi wanted to be reverse that. Oh, good. Good wait on that. I don't know if the counter from stage would actually hit. Him. <laughs> Not 100% certain on how big the Roy counter box is, but good back here. That, that, that hill, like, sweet spot back here is so strong. Oh, yeah. Near F tilt. Can I get Panda and Microwave Station 3? Strix is running away. This is a nice spot. Here is the tipper. The nice one. The Anson needs to kind of slow this down a little bit and kind of force the Roy to make some decisions. Because it's the other way around right now. This oh, yeah. Roy is all over. Oh, yeah, he's got uh, crazy momentum. Looks like he can go play on. Oh, Jeff. Oh, he won it, yeah. Okay, back there. Those, those Marth throws, those Smith throws only do about 4% of peace, too. Oh, that was the second jump? But he missed his nice. top off counter. Nice. nice. That is such a good, yeah, that's, that's a great counter play, honestly. We got awareness of the situation. He took that disadvantage around really fast. Yeah, eight for me. Can I get yellow, Rello? Still got a lot of work to do. Nine for eight. Ooh, it's gonna be hard landing, especially. He retreats back to ledge. This is really scary. He needs to get some footing quickly. Oh, wow. Up to so, Yeah. That sweet spot's gonna be massive. Pretty good set. Pretty good set. Small town showing out. I wanna know what town this is. Hey, Strix is. Can you come here? What town are you from? I'm from Midland. Midland? Oh, okay, cool. Alright. So we got Midland showing out. Pretty good set. Good back and forth. Yeah. Good back and forth. 